What's up guys, it's OSS from Samsung Galaxy S3 Soft Monitor and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to um, minimize or completely remove ads and banner ads from some of your favorite apps using another exposed module. So of course with any exposed module we're going to need the exposed installer which is where I am right now and um, we're going to have to have a rooted phone. So once you have those two you jump into the exposed installer and you can head over to downloads and we're going to search for min min so it's called min min guard you can see it's right here I've already installed it it's an ad remover uh, you just click on that you scroll down you hit download once it downloads you're going to want to enable it so it's just going to go back and we're going to enable it in the module section so here you see where it says modules we're going to tap on that and then make sure that min guard is checked once it's checked you can either go in and here is where you're going to select the apps that you want to have um, your ads removed from. So here I have Battery Stats Plus. I'll just show you guys that, that the ads are there right now. And then once I enable it here, you can see the banner ad at the bottom. I mean, of course, you can just ignore it. But if you don't want it there, we'll just go back. We'll hop back into... Um, <clears throat> the ad remover, min min guard, jump here, I'll check battery stats plus and then I'll need to reboot my phone. So of course you can tap and hold here and then just hit restart. Now once you hit restart I'll jump back into the app and then I'll show you that it no longer has ads. Um, it doesn't work for all programs you, so you'll notice some programs or some apps will still have ads even though you've checked it off in the list. Mm -hmm. And that's due to some URL things that <clears throat> the uh, companies or whoever does their ad, the ad networks might utilize. But there is a list of ad networks that um, this does work for in the full tutorial. So make sure to check that out before you um, write the dev saying that it doesn't work because there are certain things that it will not work for and certain ad networks that it will not work for. But for the majority of the apps that I did try, it did work. and. Um, it doesn't just remove the banner ad and leave a blank space. It actually removes the banner ad and then extends the app to where it should be. So, if you guys remember, I was in Battery Stats Plus. I'll wait for everything to load on my computer. And then I'll show you that the ad, the banner ad that was at the bottom, will now be gone. And this will work for, of course, all other apps that have that same kind of banner ad um, program. So let's scroll over to Battery Stats Plus. It's right here. Just gonna tap that, <clears throat> open it up, and you'll see the banner that was here is of course no longer here. And you can just see that it moves this back down instead of being above the banner ad, and it just makes it look, of course, a little cleaner because there is no ad getting in the way or just blocking your view from the um, bottom portion of the app. It'll work for all other apps, same sort of thing. Just removes the ad and then replaces it with whatever the stock app would have had if there was no ad overlaid over it. So again, make sure to check that out. It's min, min, guard. It's a module in the exposed framework. You should go to downloads, search for it right there. It should take a couple seconds, restart your phone, and you'll be good to go. So just make sure to check out that in the full tutorial, and also make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.